guys, and welcome to Storytime with George and Amber. I'm Georgia, and today I'm going to be reading The Grumpy Monkey by Susan Ling, illustrated by Max Ling. He does look grumpy, doesn't he? One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. I don't know if you get it, but the joke is Jim Pansy, as in chimpanzee. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, insisted Jim. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy. But look at the way you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched up. So Jim loosened up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Blah, 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 blah. And here he is, wiggling up. They... Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me, I'm not grumpy. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Then he tripped over a snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Me? Me? I'm not grumpy. Then why that frown? said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Oh, he looks happy now. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy the beautiful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should take a stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. Wow. You should take a bath You sh and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or m some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. I wouldn't dance with porcupines. <laughs> Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy! Shouted Jim as he beat his chest. I think he may have exaggerated a little. And he stormed off. Poor, poor Jim. Jim's friends must be feeling so sad that they got yelled at. I would feel sad. Jim felt sorry. A little for shouting at everyone, but mostly for him. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. <sighs> And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came up on Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with a porcupine, said Norman. Just looking at it, that makes me want to shiver. Ooh, that's got to hurt. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. So that's the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Storytime with George and Amber.